Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through design process. Okay, so in our last lecture, I introduced that we will be doing designing after analysis, right? So once analysis is done, we will be doing designing. We will be moving on to designing. So basically, you might be having a doubt then why now again, uh, and again designing, right? So basically, in designing, you will be doing a in depth, guys how the code should be so basically the code you will be doing coding right after this process only you'll be moving on to coding so the outer structure the architecture the model you will be designing in this step guys so based on this step only the architecture design only and the user interface and everything the designs only the coding is done so based on these designs how you are designing them so based on that only you will be getting your output guys okay okay Output is nothing but I'm saying about, I'm talking in terms of coding. Okay, so let us continue. So design process. Design process is a step by step and repetitive process where the software is simulated according to the requirements. So basically you can say that here you will be making some kind of dummies guys. Okay, so the simulation will be in detailed high level of abstraction. So basically here you will be simulating in detail like the exact model you will be making a duplicate guys. Okay. So the design represented by the level can be directly tracked to the specific system objective and the requirements such as data function behavior requirements can be identified easily. Similarly, as I said earlier, design process is required for better quality of software. So basically if you are planning to have a good quality of software, like it should be user friendly, it should be easy to understand and everything you need to do the designing process in a perfect way. So there are totally three main steps guys. Okay. Or three main characteristics you can say. So design must be consi consider and a full and fulfill all the customer requirements. So basically once you are in a design stage, the next stage is coding guys. If you start coding from this design, if the design is not appropriate based on the user requirements, then the whole project will be a big flaw guys. So that is the reason why we need to make it perfectly. So we need to fully, it should be exactly according to the customer requirements that are implicit and must be implement, implemented explicit requirements contained in the analysis model. Okay. So it should have everything that the customer wants. Okay. The design must be readable, understandable and as a guide for those who generate code. So basically here we will be say creating something like a guide guys. So we'll be doing it in this way. Then you do that. Then you do this. So like that you'll be having some kind of steps. Okay. So design should provide a complete picture of the software addressing data function and behavior domains. Okay. So this is just a small introduction about design process guys. So in this way the design process continues. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea because even the, the theory I also didn't find a lot theory for about this. Okay, so I hope everyone got some basic idea. So in the next lecture, we will be going through design quality. Okay, so let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.